Okay, this is the prototype for the uh, newest project I'm working on. It is a uh, thermal couple uh, temperature probe, a little handheld device that you can uh, hook a thermal couple up to, and it's pretty much just a digital thermometer. Um, right now, this is the prototype, like I already mentioned. Um, we'll actually have four digits in the second seven segment display, uh, which is being driven by a Max 7219. Uh, seven segment and matrix driver um, and then controlling it will be uh, at mega 328 um, it's going to be a QFN package just to make everything nice and small um, I'm just using my Arduino uh, right now uh, to prototype it and instead of using a max 6675 uh, thermal couple amplifier it'll actually use a uh, max 31855 uh, amplifier um, I'm using that because it's about half the price and it has a couple extra features like uh, it'll tell you if you, your uh, thermal couple is shorted to ground, uh, VCC, or is just not there um, which will be some uh, kind of nice features to it. So I'll power it up here, I don't know if you're going to be able to be able to read it right now but it says on when you first turn it on hopefully you can tell that that says 26 degrees it's uh, reading in uh, Celsius right now I plan on putting a uh, button on the finished thing to uh, switch between Fahrenheit and uh, Celsius but um, you can see that when I heat the thermal couple up which is right here with my fingers the temperature goes up and then when I let go it'll cool back down like that. So let me take the camera off the tripod and I'll show you what I've got for uh, software that it's uh, running, or not software, firmware. This is the Arduino code and I'll post a uh, link to it in the description, probably on Mediafire or something like that. But uh, most of the uh, uh, magic really happens down here in the uh, main loop. Um, what I had to do was, it took me like an hour to figure this out, but um, the uh, Max 6675 library that I'm using from Adafruit outputs the temperature as a uh, floating point uh, number, but I, um, to make it easy to display on the 7 segment display, I wanted to put it in a string so I could uh, read individual uh, parts of it to display on the uh, 7 segment display. There might be an easier way to do that. But um, I had to do some Googling. Um, eventually, I found a, a command that will do it. What I had to do is a. Uh, I to, oh, shoot. Okay. Uh, I made a buffer, which you can see is the first line of the uh, void loop. Um, I just gave it 10 places uh, just to be safe. Um, and then you can see the string that I made. It's called temperature. And then you see that DTO STRF. I don't actually know what that uh, stands for, but it's a, a C command, and it basically allows you to convert a floating point um, value, which is what the temperature is, um, into a value to store in the buffer, which is the buffer in the first line, and then it'll store it in the string. So then you can see the uh, stuff right down there, the LC dot set char and then the stuff after that that's to uh, display the uh, values on the seven segment display and then you can see there's a serial command that's commented out that was I was using that for debugging um, and then you can see up here uh, this is where it says on when you first turn it on and then just various other setup stuff uh, when I go to the max 31855 um, I might not need all this down here but uh, I'll figure that out as I go. So I have the schematic drawn up uh, so far. Um, it's actually going to be powered by two AA batteries and uh, use a boost converter to get it up to 5 volts. Uh, so this uh, section is actually right from the Minty Boost uh, circuit. And then I have a 3.3 volt regulator because that's what um, the Arduino and everything else will run on. 
<coughs> um, I have to run it on 3.3 volts because the Max 31855 is a 3.3 volt um, device. Um, the Max 7219 is still going to run on 5 volts, but the uh, uh, at Mega is going to run at 3.3 volts. Um, I'm going to try running it at 16 megahertz, uh, kind of overclock it. But if that doesn't work, then I'll have to go to 8 megahertz. But it still should work just fine. Um, I have the board layout uh, pretty much finished, but I think I'm going to have to make some changes because, like I said, I want to have a uh, button to switch between Fahrenheit and Celsius. So I'm gonna, probably going to have to incorporate that somewhere. But it's actually really small. It's um, less than two inches square. Uh, let me see. It's 1.625 by 1.5375 inches. Okay, you can see that I've also added a uh, SD card for uh, data logging capabilities. Um, since this is going to be a temperature probe, I thought it would be um, a nice feature to uh, have the ability to store your uh, temperatures on an SD card. So let me turn all the top stuff off so we just show the bottom. As you can see, the uh, micro SD card will go over here. Um, I have to reroute pretty much the entire board now. Um, just because I added that and I had to move stuff around. And see so I've got the Mac 7219 wired up to the uh, uh, seven segment display now. And that took about half an hour, so now I'm going to time-lapse the rest of it. So, there we go.